We booked this big cosplayer to come and MC our upcoming fundraiser for the Fuzzy Foundation, but he's running really late. And I reckon we're past fashionably late and creeping dangerously close to, oh, nuts, it's gotta be bad guys late. As you might have noticed, I get antsy just sitting around waiting. Let's see, we go look for him. All right, time to hit the trail. All right. I forgot to ask Koi Boy exactly who this guy is cosplaying as, but I'm sure we'll know him when we see him. How good can a costume be? Uh oh, troubles are brewing. Isn't that Squirrel Girl? Oh no, she's onto us. We can't let her ruin our plans. Get her! You think these guys have anything to do with our missing yeah. cosplayer? Well, they didn't seem to like us going this way. Ha! <laughs> so let's keep doing it. Hey there! Stop them! Don't let them near the containment cell! Containment cell, huh? <gasps> they must have our guy locked up! to our cosplayer situation. Well, no point worrying about it now. I need a change of scenery. I need a change of scenery. <laughs> now show those guys. Call her the unbeatable squirrel girl? I'm just saying, maybe rather than try to beat her, we just, you know, run away! Quiet, you fool! Get her! <laughs> These guys are no real challenge. I beat Fing Fang Boom Yo! Hello? Hello? Anybody out there? This is all a misunderstanding! This is just a really, really convincing costume! You! Do you know the rodent female squirrel girl? Maybe she can get me out of this mess. Whoa! Is that Modoc? No, wait. Something's not quite right. Yes, exactly! I'm not the real Modoc! Just a charming professional <laughs> imposter, also known as a costumed player. <laughs> I was supposed to MC that fundraiser <laughs> thing, but I was imprisoned by AIM for defending. <laughs> How are we gonna get you out of there? You'll need the password <laughs> to open the cell. Assuming you haven't already clobbered <laughs> them all, the lackeys around here should know what it is. <laughs> all right. Guess we have a new mission. See what you can dig up about that password. I'll hang here in case anybody important looking swings by. Those aim guys should be a bit more willing to talk after we showed their buddies what we're made of. The, the password? I couldn't tell you it even if I wanted to. All I know is the guy who set it up used the name of his cat or his dog or something. Seriously, that is all I know. Place on the mountain earlier. Must be some new kind of ancient ah, Don't hurt me, please! I've got a cat to take care of! Oh, Princess Snuffle Meow! What have I got myself into this time? I'll hmm. show those guys. So, find anything out? That sounds useful, but not on its own. We need more. Weird name for a cat. Got a feeling that'll be relevant somehow. Okay, from what you've told me, I think I've got it. The password is... Princess... Snuffle Meow? Oh, boy. Let's just hope it doesn't need a three instead of an eight or something. Bingo! Sweet freedom! Thank you, kind squirrel. And... We did it! 
seems like I'm not the only one who can use their awesome conversational skills to win a fight. Now we can finally get this show back on the road. Thanks for your help. Soon as he's had a chance to compose himself, I'll help Modok here get to the event safely. You mind running on ahead to let Chipmunk Hunk and Koi Boy know? I bet so pay off. I left Chipmunk Hunk and Koi Boy in charge of getting Central Park ready for our big bonanza. Maybe you could give those guys a hand for me? There was some uh, questionable training <laughs> taking place on the mountain earlier. Must be some new kind of ancient martial art or something. Your eyes in the water see anything yet? Squirrel Girl sent you? Good timing. We could always do with a little extra manpower. On top of our current chipmunk and fish power, I mean. When SG asked us to clean Central Park up ready for the fuzzy event, we thought she just meant picking up soda cans and stuff. What she declined to tell us is that a whole bunch of villain types have made this place their official stomping ground. We can't go five minutes without some random gang of goons showing up to cause trouble. I guess you can't blame them. It is rather pleasant around here. Chilly, but pleasant. Anyway, we better get ready to rumble. My eyes in the water tell me we've got some trouble incoming. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You seen that? All right, guys, be ready. <laughs> The fish force are telling me our enemies are closing in. Wouldn't it have made more sense for the chipmunk corps to take lookout? To no time for that. Now, we must fight! Time to honor our promise and clean up this park for good. But with foot sweeps instead of street sweep curves. And shoving instead of... Shoveling? This is not our best material. Oh. What are those sticks called that you use to pick up trash? Uh, trash sticks? Oh, right. Kicks instead of trash sticks. I'm all out. How many more are there? Weren't you the one with eyes in the water? Yeah, someone kicked dirt in the pond. Only thing they've got a visual on now is a big brown cloud. the world to get to Kunlun, and now it's right in my backyard? Enlightenment and martial art mastery may be priceless, but those plane tickets definitely cost something. Oh, snap! I went to get a hairdryer to thaw off that frozen guy in the cave. Woohoo! Score one for the cleanup crew! What's that? Our new hero squad name? Uh, we can talk about that later. We're seriously behind on our preparations for the fundraiser. Oh, yeah! You're coming to that, right? It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have snacks, music, a MODOK cosplayer, all sorts of cool stuff. MODOK? That's who you got to MC? He's the only guy we could get at this short notice. Anyway, it'll be a blast. Hopefully, we'll see you there. Gwenpool's disembodied voice here. Your heroic deeds have unlocked one of my incredible Gwenpool missions. Go find it. Thanks again for earlier. Stop by the fundraiser if you get a chance. Okay. Hey, you got Shield are preparing to open a new top secret training facility here in Chronopolis. We don't know how long we're all going to be here. So we need to be prepared. I've sent out a number of agents to scope out potential locations for the site. And I was hoping you could see what they've discovered and offer your expert opinion on which site seems most suitable based on my criteria. You interested?
Excellent. We're after somewhere that's both relatively deserted and has plenty of room for undisturbed underground development. You got that? Just come back if you forget. Good luck. Colson send you? Tell him I found a bunch of quiet spots around here that'd be perfect to set up camp. So long as he doesn't mind fighting gophers and the local prospectors for the underground expansion rights. They both seem to like digging around here. Sure, I guess I've got enough for a report. Hollow's the homeworld of the Cree, and those guys are pretty sharp. I think they'd notice anything going on here. In terms of underground real estate, though, it seems pretty untapped. this area? Well, the desert heat means it's generally pretty, well, deserted. We found a few tombs underground, but only under the existing structures, which suggests it's fair game under the open desert. Did you get enough information to make a decision? Remember, we need somewhere... All right. What have you got from deserted sounds good and a large expanse of unused underground from what you've told me our new training facility should be located in ancient egypt nice work we'll pick a secluded spot and start construction right away that reminds me i asked quake to make a start on the research for the facility itself if you see her around could you ask her to check in with her progress oh and obviously if you need me for anything i'm at your disposal I bet someone will pay a high price for this. You get a chance to catch up with Quake yet? Where can I find the simple life, man? This is your... You're the one who helped out Coulson earlier, right? He asked me to do some research for the new training facility, but I hit a bit of a snag. Namely, my camera broke. And don't you know, the one thing Chronopolis is lacking is a decent camera repair store. But that's okay, because you're here now. And I figure you're just itching to take some pictures. The plan is to use them to replicate key areas of Chronopolis now training facility for an authentic training experience. So, what do you say? Ready to get snapping? Great! So, what I need from you is a photo of Lemuria, a photo of Hala, a photo of Egypt, a photo of the Old West, a photo of Hydra, and that should be it. Don't worry if you forget. I'll be here. Don't worry about getting the whole area in the shot. As Thanks. I've noticed some criminal activity.
reminder of the shopping list? Got the f got it? <sighs> Keep them coming. All right, that's the last of them. Thanks. Now we've got everything we need to start construction on the facility, which means I can actually put my powers to use and start digging a big hole instead of taking pictures all day. Oh, no disrespect to your work, of course. Anyway, thanks again. Once the facility's finished, you should come by and give it a test run. You did a thing! Which means you've unlocked another thing! That's right! An exciting new Gwenpool mission awaits! Another wonderful day in Chronopolis? You there! Your king would... I. it is indeed I! The noble King Arthur Pendragon! You may have heard tell of the time I defeated the evil Black Knight. Well, not the most recent one. The one before that! Indeed. It seems recent events have overshadowed my acts of bravery. Which leaves me no other option. I must slay a dragon! Yes, that is the only sure way to demonstrate my heroism to the kingdom. Alas, your king is a little... out of practice. Perhaps some training by way of a crusade through Chronopolis is in order. Would you grant me your assistance in this matter? Excellent! Then let us away! This world is full of scoundrels. What better use for them than to strengthen my metal? <sighs> Must find bad heart. Enemies approach. <laughs> ah, so your approach is more of a squish flick slice than a slice squish flick. <laughs> this training is most valuable. <laughs> Ha! Over already? Ow. I've barely a dew drop on my brow. That ruffian made- It appears I'm inadvertently training what those delightful Manhattanites refer to as their- Ahead of us! More fiends! Uh. I say! How do you do that thing with your feet? Oh wait! I think I have it! Ha! I feel stronger just by watching you. Not that that's all I was doing, I assure you. On to the next! As those delightful Wakandans say, no pain, no vibrain. Neum. Actually, that might not apply here. Or even be the correct quote. Another gathering of villains. Come at you! My sword is like an extension of my arm. And my other arm is like another sword. <laughs> to watch you in combat is a true thrill. Akin to that amusing contraption known as the Canyon Rail. <laughs> Excellent display. I believe one more encounter will be sufficient for today. Something must have gone down with the dragons. This is your glorious ruler, Cat. Look there! Are those tiny dragons? What better way to train my steel in dragon slaying? Ah! Attack! Oh, this always happens! Ugh, crazy renaissance farers, always taking it too far. It would seem the foul creatures have eaten the citizens. Don't worry, your king shall save you. What are you doing, you crazy mook? No need to thank me, just doing my kingly duties. Well, I dare say I feel veritably invigorated after that campaign. And what luck that we would encounter those strange miniature dragons. With this experience, I believe I am sufficiently prepared to face a full-sized dragon. Assuming Merlin has finished his preparations, 
At any rate, my thanks for your assistance. I bet someone will pay a high price for this. Prithee, go tell Merlin to gather my things and prepare for an adventure! Looks like some trouble is brewing where you are. You're like a back car. Hmm. This is quite the conundrum. I hear you're the one who helped to train our noble king in preparation for his dragon slaying quest. I admire your enthusiasm, but I fear Arthur may have bitten off more than he can chew. Which I doubt will be said of the dragon when it's through with him. Enter the Merlin Stones, which render those who wield them invincible. I had planned to slip them into Arthur's garb before the battle, but alas, I appear to have forgotten when I stashed them. Would you help an old man search for them? Wonderful. I should really have considered how bad my memory was before I hit them all over Chronopolis, but... Here we are. Good luck. Citizens should be aware as soon as the necessary. Don't worry, there's no major. Earth. Let's see what we have here. Yes, these appear to be all of the Merlin stones, and what seem to be a couple of pieces of boiled confectionery for good measure. How very thoughtful of you. Hmm. The stones feel a little weaker than before. They may not make Arthur invincible, but at the very least, he should flicker back into existence should he meet a grisly fate. And that's certainly better than nothing. Something tells me that story doesn't end here. Let's wrap this saga up in a Gwenpool mission. Arthur and I shall be departing for the dragon's lair shortly. Uh, I imagine it'll be quite the adventure. I can't wait. Already that way. You seen that superhero supply store? Hm. I'll show those guys. Can you believe they're still making video games about losers like the Avengers? They already had their turn. Two, in fact. Though I'm not sure if they're both strictly canon. Either way. When was the last time you saw a game with a duck on the cover? The industry needs to change, starting with my new game, codename 
Project Egg. Sadly, my quack starter campaign fell through. So I'm gonna need to find the funds for this thing some other way. Think you could help me find a wealthy entrepreneur that I can hit up for the dough? You won't regret it, kid. See what you can find out from the folks around here. There's gotta be at least one money bag in this joint. The thing they don't warn you about when working at the bank is the folks who keep you working late drying off waterlogged treasure. How'd it get so wet? And why was there so much of it? Whoever it belonged to must be ri it 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 itch. All this smoke here, a waste of money, huh? So what do you got for me? Hmm, promising. If we knew who cashed in that loot, we could definitely hit them up. Find out anything about our wealthy friend? He's that old prospector over in the Old West said he pulled a big hole of something out of the water the other day. Didn't say what it was. But he was winking so hard I thought he was going to hurt himself. And he was soaking wet. <laughs> what a strange fellow. Turns out the Cave of Dragons did have an actual dragon inside. <laughs> the master says I won't- Got any more? Like some Could be something there. If we can confirm it wasn't just an old booty dug up. So putting what you've told me through the old Detective Melon, we can deduce that the old prospector over in the Old West recently came into some serious cheddar. This is perfect. The only thing now is to figure out how to convince an old-timey prospector to invest in a Talking Ducks video game. But that won't be the weirdest thing I do all week by any stretch. Thanks for the help, kid. Oh, and if you run into Forbush Man, could you tell him the funds are in the bag? Last I heard, the poor guy was looking into making money through social media marketing. Is there a person out there who can understand my... Working with Howard on this video game of his has been problematic. He laughed at my idea for the final boss, but I think he simply lacks the imagination to grasp its true awesomeness. But as an accomplished game designer, this is a problem I know how to fix. Some ideas are better to show than tell, so what we need is a prototype. We'll get you dressed up as my villain and show off your awesome villainy skills. Skillany. <laughs> so, you in? A smart decision. I'll show you my design for the character you've... Good. We're lucky I managed to arrange this meeting with Howard. He's usually crazy busy on the phone with publishers all day and... Wait. We don't have a publisher yet. That lazy. Soon as Howard shows up, I'll rustle up some enemies for you to fight. All right, Forbush, make this quick. I've got another meeting after this. About meetings. But we're the only two people working on... Ah, oh, never mind. Feast your eyes on cock a doodle doom What? No one is safe from this foul enemy. Oh, good. Poultry jokes. I assure you, this villain is no yoke. And not even original ones. Fried don't know what you mean. Ugh. Look like something big. <laughs> 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 
cock-a-doodle-doo lays her enemies to waste with devastating expertise. The puns are making me like it less. You know that, right? If you think she's done with you yet, you're fresh out of clunk. No. So, what do you think? Pretty hardcore, right? Pretty intimidating, <laughs> right? Pretty... All right, stop saying words. You can put your stupid chicken boss in the game. But if any of the kids at the focus test start crying, it's coming straight out again. You won't regret this, Howard. If the folks at ChronoCon don't love it, I'll eat my saucepan. Oh, shoot. ChronoCon's coming up. What are we doing standing around yakking? We gotta get the game finished. Oh, yeah. I forgot we actually had to make the thing. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out, pal. If you're going to Chronicon, make sure to drop by the stand. Hey, you didn't think you could be that helpful and not unlock a new Gwenpool mission, did you? Go check out that bad boy. Speaking of Chronicon, you did get the tickets, right? Uh, I thought you were doing that. <sighs> this is what I get for teaming up with a walking pot rack. I gotta find him before it's too late. I rode over as fast as night wind could carry me when I heard the living totem has returned. Never thought I'd see the day after watching him fall into the bottomless canyon. So far, I ain't seen hide no hair of him, but I reckon he'll be on his way to finish what he started all them years ago and destroy the town. We can't give him the chance. We gotta stop him. I owe you, stranger. <sighs> Come on, let's get to searching. Now remember, be on your guard. The senior run of the mill totem we're dealing with. It's a living totem. Them fellas over yonder look mighty suspicious. What are they up to? That's the totem. I'd recognize that half-buried mug anywhere. Hey, this is our giant head. Anyone other than the Kree who tries to approach it will answer to us. Y'all best step aside. That thing is more trouble than you can imagine. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've been itching for a good fight. Come on, compadre. Let's take these warmongers down a peg. Ha! Turns out, camping out by the head and picking fights with outsiders that came near was a good idea. Guess I owe Travlar that sandwich. These fellas seem prepared to go all out for the totem. He must have used some kind of mind control power. I came as soon as I heard. Fighting at the old head? I'm in! We gotta keep whittling down the totem's army. Figure that's the last of them. Now we can finally take care of the totem himself. Hold up. This is just the head of them floating Kree statues, ain't it? Well, this is embarrassing. But if the totem ain't here, well, where is he? Huh. I appreciate your help, but it looks like I got a little too hot-headed for my own good today. I'm gonna take a step back and try to figure this out. Hmm, maybe that Red Wolf fella could help me. He's always been pretty good at tracking folk down. Now we're talking. Red Wolf has been expecting you, Pilgrim. You are a friend of the Rawhide Kid, are you not? Red Wolf knows why you are here. The location of the living totem eludes you and the kid, but I sense his presence somewhere in this town, and I know what you must do to learn of his dwelling place. You must listen to the whispers of the wind, the rumors from the rivers, the murmurings of the mountain. Oh, and the people probably know a few things too. <laughs> Ask around, and we will surely learn where the totem makes his lair. Then it is settled. Speak with the tongue. Reckon there's something in the water lately, as I could have sworn I saw this.
big pole with a face on it walking around the other day. And it gets stranger. Soon as he noticed I'd seen him, he put on this big old coat and scurried off. Wonder where he went to? Where in tarnation they go? There's a real peculiar type spending most his days at the saloon of late. Tall fella wears a big coat all the time. Reckon there's only one reason person wear a coat that big. Something to hide. Or cause he's cold. So, two reasons, I guess. So far, I've learned nothing from the wind or the mountain, the rift, so what not the saloon? If we knew who occupied the large coat, this information could be useful. That indeed sounds like the totem. We need only to learn of where he goes. It would appear we have learned enough. The totem has been donning a disguise and spending an inordinate amount of time in the local saloon. Hmm. But to what end? Of course, the answer to this question would most easily be discovered at the saloon itself. I shall reconvene with Rawhide Kid, and the two of us will pursue the totem. But of course, I must first thank you for all your help. Now we're talking. Gwenpool's disembodied voice here. Your heroic deeds have unlocked one of my incredible Gwenpool missions. Go find it. You have done much for Rawhide and myself. Oh no, please. I don't want any more. Hmm? Oh, sorry. It's just people have usually run away screaming or try to set me on fire by now. It's actually quite a relief to be able to have a real conversation. After that episode in the tomb, I'm just about ready for a change of pace. In fact, I was rather hoping to try my hand at this hero lock. Do then it's settled. Lead the way, teacher, and show me the awesome art of heroism. <laughs> that person screams. Does that mean they need help or they won some kind of cash prize? I heard conflicting reports. Why not, citizen? You have been rescued. Ah, get away from me! What? B but I'm... Well, that could have gone better. Let's try someone else. Maybe I need to work on my bedside manner? Hey, just think another helpless victim. Let's shape It's okay, you're safe now. Ah! He's his yes! Run away! Huh? What did I do wrong that time? <laughs> Third time lucky? Come on. Hopefully we can find someone else in trouble. Wait. Hoping someone in trouble is bad, isn't it? Okay, this time I'm going to try a different approach that will work for sure. No! Help me! Uh. 
I have known eternity. That. <laughs> Okay, here goes. <laughs> hey there, buddy, don't worry, you're safe now, so submit to your safety at once! No! Hmm. Somehow I think I'm actually getting worse at this. How does anyone actually do this job? You make it look so easy. So, is it... is it... me? Am I truly so terrifying to behold? <laughs> it would seem a different approach is required here. Something on a, a grander scale, perhaps. My old pal Morbius would probably have some good ideas if I could find him. Could you do me another favor? If you see Morbius, Tell him Mummy is ready to initiate Operation Mash. Now we're talking. What has the Avengers got against Kang? What's the problem with the recommended rule anyway? <laughs> Mommy sent you? <laughs> he explained everything in his letter. As much as I'd love to help my old bandage buddy out, I've got problems of my own here. The locals here are not big fans of monsters. I don't want to get too into it, but there's some seriously antiquated opinions at large here. What's not so antiquated is the lock on this door. Looks like they picked up a few pointers from their modern neighbors when they set this up. Help me bust it open, and then we can talk about helping Mummy with his business. Very good. Now, about getting this door open. Oh. See that guard over there? He's the one who locked me in here, so he's probably a good place to start. <laughs> All right, what's going on out there? Whatever you did, it's opened one of the locks. So, I guess you just do that for the others. <laughs> this seems promising. <laughs> Another lock opened. Yeah, keep it up. Fake news reports are being circulated saying people don't like being part of Chronopolis. Citizens are reminded that watching or listening to any news other than another crime. Uh, this one's a doozy. Think you can get to it? Phew! You saved my life! A third lock opens, inching me ever closer to sweet freedom! this burning hunger! I don't suppose you saw an open burger stand on your way here. Well, never mind that for now. There is much to be done to ensure that the world opens its eyes and accepts that monsters are people too! Stay tuned, friend, for things are about to get... monstrous! But in a good way. Ravonna, is this a... Hey! You didn't think you could be that helpful and not unlock a new Gwenpool mission, did you? Go check out that bad boy! Well, I'm off to meet Mummy! Next stop, Hydra Empire! Ah! A monster? Ah, tell it to someone who cares, you screeching simpleton!
stupid king. Mm, sorry. I was in my own world there. But you know, not in the same way that jerk Kang is. Who's he think he is? Uprooting everyone from their homes and dumping them in his own private amusement park? It really bombs my A. Still, nothing we can do about it, I guess. Except keep taking out his goons when they crop up. It just makes me so mad. Come on, I need to go hit stuff. Let's find some troublemakers and put a stop to them. Now we're talking. Come on, won't take as long to find some of those creeps. Over there. Who do they think they are? I'll teach you to cha. This is for the time that guy smashed up my guitar. I know it wasn't you, but he sort of looked like you. <laughs> All right, that felt pretty good. Let's keep going. More of them? We gotta stop them. Why are you doing this, huh? You really want to test my mood? Back home, I was a best-selling author. Is that all of them? I'm not gonna rest until I wipe them all out. <sighs> Heard they had a chicken outbreak in the saloon the other day. Gave the sheriff a real there. Another gang of those things. I got a message for your so-called leader. The A stands for angry. I am one angry Bob. the time I got given weird powers against my will. And this... Intense. I don't know what came over me there. I just got so mad, and all I wanted to do was do something crazy like punch a boulder or something. Man, I can't keep acting this way. I'm just gonna end up scaring the people I'm trying to save. And then I'm no better than Kang. What I need is the help of some chill dude to help me keep my anger in check. But who? Actually, doesn't Wonder Man have a pretty laid-back view nowadays? You think he could help me out? <laughs> I wonder if he's still hanging out over by the Avengers Mansion. Don't worry, I'm all right now. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna talk to Wonder Man about this rage problem. Now we're talking. Are you here for the anger management session? I heard about what happened with A-Bomb. It seems that ever since the dawn of Kang's reign, more and more heroes are struggling to keep their anger in check. Possibly because you cannot spell anger without the last three letters of Kang. Or possibly not. At any rate, if people will benefit from my pacifistic outlook on life, then I am happy to share my experiences. But in order to do this, I will need you to fetch something crucial to my anger management training. 
I appreciate this. By assuming the role of Cuddle Friend, you will play a vital role in the anger management of Aba and many others. So you decided to join us, Cuddle Friend. And I feel calmer already. Not that I wasn't calm before. That barista had every right to finish his phone conversation before serving me my coffee. Anyway, with our lovable mascot back with us, I just have a few more preparations to make, and our anger management session will be in... session. You did a thing! Which means you've unlocked another thing! That's right! An exciting new Gwenpool mission awaits! Why don't you take five, Cuddle Friend, and I'll call you when we're ready. Have you or somebody you know been affected by the symbiote? I've been keeping tabs on Venom and Carnage for a while now, trying to stop them from causing trouble. After all, the last thing I need is people on a witch hunt for anyone with the symbiote. But I lost track of them. Last I heard, they'd gotten mixed up in something at Alchemax, but that's where the trail goes cold. Doesn't feel right that they just disappeared after. Think you could help me track them down? Thanks! I've tried asking around once, but maybe you'll have more luck. Apparently, there's some shady kidnapping rackets going on down in the maintenance tunnels. You can do it, event. If you've got business at Oscorp, you're out of luck. There's nobody on the reception desk. Ooh, might have been the guy who came running out when I got here. Come to think of it, it did kind of look like he'd had a scare. Try asking the locals if they've seen anything suspicious and gooey. Suspicious and gooey. Still no sign of them here. Uh, they, they told me that being a receptionist would be just taking phone calls and do, doing my nails all day. Nobody said nothing about signing in no symbiotes. And two of them too. So, did you find anything out? A panic at Oscorp, huh? There could be something to that, if we knew what spooked the guy. So this guy had a run-in with symbiotes at his receptionist job. Just need to piece that together with the location. So two symbiotes crashed the Oscorp building, huh? There's no doubt about it. It's gotta be Venom and Carnage. Which probably mean that they went looking for a cure, maybe. Can't think why else they'd go there. Of course, there's one way to be sure. But anyway, thanks. You were a huge help. Something tells me that story doesn't end here. Let's wrap this saga up in a Gwenpool mission. I'm gonna head over to Oscorp later to see what the situation is. If you get the chance, you should do the same. Come on, Guardians. How long does it take to... Novacore is always happy to help a noble cause. Even if providing the refreshments for Quill's soiree was the least Xandar could do, after everything the Guardians of the Galaxy have done for us in our recent troubles with Kang. Although I didn't expect the responsibility to fall directly on my shoulders when we agreed to provide them. As you can imagine, the Nova Corps have a lot of fires to put out right now, both figurative and non-figurative. And as much as I would like to help out in the party planning process, I do still have at least a chunk of an empire to run. Now, could you lend your time to the cause? Wonderful. Remember, Quill is a Terran, 
so you might want to try and find some of that junk food the young people seem to be so fond of. I want to go to work today. He's watching you. The next to my brain. Oh, can some some listening to the god. That Lemurian guy in the pool is here to stay. He was super rude to me when I went to say hi before. <sighs> I joined the note before, but I hated what the helmets did. Detected a crime pretty close to you. Hey, wouldn't it be great if this was the last crime ever? Nah, a girl can dream. Uh, we decided to put our city next to an active volcano. I like hot danger as much as the next guy. That card <laughs> Well, I can't imagine they'll be running out of food at this rate. Now, where did my assistant put that invitation? Did I even get an invitation? Maybe it's time I start opening up those messages I keep receiving. They can't all be spam. On behalf of the Nova Corps, we'd like to express our profound gratitude for your help in these catering matters. I shall see you at the event. Possibly. I bet someone will pay a high price for this. Hey, you didn't think you could be that helpful and not unlock a new Gwenpool mission, did you? Go check out that bad boy! Mm. I think I'll play some Hexagon Blitz in my break. Just a little bit. Mm. If I spend another two hour lunch lost in the Hexagons, that's the boss that's gonna blitz me. What a cat.